Hello dear teachers all over the globe. Today I want to show you how to make a video where you can show your own screen. You can show your webcam as well and record your speech. So you're able to make uh, instruction videos for your students because of this online education that we're trying to set up right now. So I want to show you how to do that with the help of Screencast-O-Matic. So in Google, we're going to look up Screencast you can press Omatic as well, but if you search Screencast, the first link that gives you is Screencast Omatic. So we're going to click that one. And then you want to click this button, start recording for free. And you come on this page where you want to launch the free recorder and use the English language. I will also put the link uh, in the description down below of this video. So we'll start loading and you have to give like permission to record your screen and your webcam to the program so it will load and you can download here if it doesn't work. And if it is boosted up in this uh, corner right here, you will see uh, three little icons, which is the first one, you will only record your own computer screen. The second one is you'll only record your webcam. And the third one is you'll do both. In times like these, I think it's really good to do both because students really like to see you as well. Okay, let's go. So here we have um, Okay, here we have the maximum time that you can record. That's 15 minutes, so you can't do any more with the free version, but that's fine. The second thing is the size. If you only want a specific uh, part of your screen to be recorded, you can select it. And then you do that with um, these moving things, but mostly I always take size and then put it on full screen. Then you can use, move your webcam around, but mostly in the bottom corner is good enough. And the second thing here you can see is uh, your voice. If it's recorded, then you can change the inputs. So your microphone you can check out if it has to be higher or lower or just in the middle. And then that's actually it, what you really need to do. So right now I'm gonna put the webcam off that I'm using right now in this uh, program and make sure that it works on screencast. So give me a second to do that. Okay, so now we're going to put on the webcam here. Hopefully it works and it does. So now you have the software that you need. The only thing left to do is start up whatever you want to do for your uh, lesson. So for example, what I always use is a software program that is called Active Inspire. I will put a link down below to download that as well. But you can use literally everything. You can use Word if you just want to type because you can't write. Uh, you can also use PowerPoint presentation if you prepared something in that or smart notebook, literally everything that you uh, could use. So here we go. I always open up a new um, flip chart that is full screen, but you can also open up something that you already uh, created before you start to make a video. So for example, I created this for my students um, and what is kind of smart to do since you can't write on a, a digital board, you just type it and make like tiny little uh, fractions of this, the lecture. Okay, so if you have your presentation open, what you want to record, then the next step is actually recording. And that is quite easy. Left bottom corner says a red button with record. We're going to press that and if we press it, it starts counting down. And when it says go, uh, your recording is starting. Okay, as you see, the camera in the uh, bottom corner is gone, but it still records, so no worry about that. And now it started recording, so you can actually start explaining what's on your sheet. And you can continue clicking, you can also write something and then they will see that in the recording. Okay, so if you're done with explaining everything you wanted to explain, uh, you want to stop the video, of course, and that's what you do in the left bottom corner again, is this pause sign, you click it, and then it stops recording. You can also continue recording if you weren't done yet. That Then you just press this one. 
And if you think, okay, what I just recorded is really bad, I want to delete it, that's this little icon. But if you're done with recording and you want to like finish your um, recording up into a file, you press done here. You have two options. You can save it directly uh, to your computer or you could think I want to edit a little bit because um, maybe you started 10 seconds late. So here I'll show you. Use this thing to um, cut it a little bit. And if you're then done, you can go here to the right and you can decide if you want to save it as a file on your computer or if you want to upload it to YouTube. So mostly I'll save it as a file on my computer first. Then what you have here is uh, the name of the recording. So you can change the name to anything you want. So for example, I'll call this one test. And you can select a folder where you want it to um, be placed. And mostly I'll just pick a folder like my uh, desktop. So that's always a nice one. Let's not have that. <laughs> and then you press publish if you want to uh, finish it up. And even for a video that takes uh, only a couple seconds as we record it right now, you see it takes some time for it to publish. Okay, so when this is published, you can play it, you can browse in a folder. I would say open the folder up. And then uh, I'll show it to you. Here is my folder and here we can see the test. Go, uh, your recording is starting. There we go. And as you see, um, my cursor is recorded, my uh, webcam is also recorded, and you can literally see everything that I do on the screen. So the only thing left for you to do is to share this video with your students. And that might be um, easy if you have a school system that is already properly set up to do this. And otherwise you can also upload it to YouTube. So that's everything that I wanted to uh, share with you. I hope uh, this video was kind of helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below this video. I will also put the links of the things that I used in the description. So thank you so much for watching and good luck with making that education online. I'm sure you will do great and take care of yourself and the people you love definitely in these times. So take care. Bye-bye.